How's it going, guys? Voice of Reason back by popular demand <laughs> with another edition of my video game reviews. And this week, guys, I only have one word for y'all Kill Zone. Never again endure their tyranny. We will strike without warning. They will know Helgan belongs to the Hellgans. Uh, before we start jumping into this review, uh, let me just give you guys a little bit of background of Killzone 2. Um, pretty much, Killzone 2 is, is a science fiction first person shooter for exclusively for the PS3. It's developed by Guerrilla Games and published by Sony Computer Entertainment Europe. This is the third installment in the Killzone franchise that began on the PS2 with Killzone and continued on to the PSP with Killzone Liberation. Now get this. Killzone 2 was first announced at E3 back in 2005 with a tech demo on display. And it was only released this past February, I believe February 27th. So it's been almost a decade of waiting for people and fans of the Killzone franchise. So with that out of the way, uh, let's start talking about this review. And first and foremost, just to let you guys know, uh, just like my other reviews, this is a spoil-free review. You're not going to see any major events in these little video clips here and there. And uh, yeah, so don't worry about anything being spoiled for you. First things first, let's start talking about the plot. Now I think the plot in Killzone 2 is one of the most unique plot or unique features of Killzone 2. Um, Killzone 2 follows the events of Killzone and Killzone Liberation and mostly takes place on the planet Helgon, the home world of the Helgast who invaded the Interplanetary Strategic Alliance, I think that's what it's called, or ISA uh, for short. Uh, two years after the Helgast assault on uh, Vecta, the ISA has launched an assault on the enemy's homeworld of Helgon. Now, I said it was unique because, I mean, this isn't your standard, you know, first-person shooter, and usually you see that the enemies come to the heroes. Like on Resistance, you see the aliens come to their world on England, on Halo, you see them come to the world, especially on Halo 2. And it's very unique to see our heroes, or our uh, protagonists, go to the homeland of the enemies and fight them on their turf. So I think this is why Killzone 2, the plot that is, is so unique and so kind of refreshing uh, when compared to all the rest of the Killzone, uh, or not Killzone, but the first person shooters out there. Anyways, the player assumes the role of Sergeant Thomas Sev. I think his full name is uh, Sevchenko, I think. It's some Russian probably. That's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, you're with a Alpha Team. You're one of the Alpha Team members and you go to uh, Helgon and you pretty much try and fight your way to the Emperor of Helgas, or the leader of Helgas, uh, Vasari. But yeah, pretty much straight and simple and very unique, very different from your first person shooters. And I think that's one of the reasons why Killzone 2 is a very good storyline and it just makes a whole impact on your gaming experience altogether. Now let's talk about some gameplay. Now with Killzone 2, Guerrilla Games uh, aims to provide the player with an immersed and cinematic gameplay. Uh, experience that is grounded in reality in which they I think called a Hollywood realism so what that means is that you have huge huge battles huge events huge explosions pretty much what you would normally see on a Hollywood action film uh, the game is presented as you guys can see entirely in the first person perspective uh, aside from you know when he when someone goes into a vehicle or whatnot um, Killzone 2 also features a new lean and peak cover system. Now I am kind of on the fence about this cover system but what it does is that the player can take cover behind an object and then pop out to fire enemies. You know pretty much just your standard. It's just the way that they go about it. You know depending on the, your button configuration you're gonna be holding uh, L2 and then you're gonna be pushing up to fire or up to lean and peak and then R1 to fire but if you wanna zoom you're gonna have to hold L1, just like I said, just depending on your, your button configuration, but it just it just really feels kind of weird. But sometimes you don't really have to aim; you can just start shooting. The six action motion control feature is also utilized in Killzone 2, which I think is pretty complimentary. I really think it was a nice little addition that they did. And pretty much you can perform certain acts such as uh, 
turning a valve, uh, arming an explosive charge, and uh, pretty much snipe sniping. So in terms of Killzone's gameplay overall, uh, it's a solid. It's it's pretty solid. Uh, again, there's nothing revolutionary to the first person genre. I mean, it's just something that we've already seen, and uh, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It gets the job done, and it's just a great gameplay experience overall, and probably one of the best you find uh, this year by far. Now let's talk about something that is revolutionary, and that is the graphics. You know, not too long ago, I reviewed a game, and I uh, concluded that it was one of the best video game graphics I've ever seen on any console. And that game was Metal Gear Solid 4, and it later uh, went on to get the best uh, graphics of the year. Now, ever since then, I've had a high pedestal of how a graphic should be, and no game has come even close to those types of graphics that I saw on Metal Gear Solid 4. That, of course, is until I played uh, Killzone 2. <laughs> So with that being uh, said guys, I'm not going to beat around the bush, um, Killzone 2 delivers um, a huge bar setter of how graphics should be in video games. Um, I know it's still early in the year, but um, I'm, I'm very, very confident that these these graphics in uh, Killzone 2 are probably one of the, going to be one of the best graphics you see on any console game this year, uh, bar none just they're amazing uh, you're seeing the little snippets of the game right now but these do not do it justice I suggest you go out you buy it and you experience these uh, just amazing graphics the detail and the artwork that they put into these graphics really do show and uh, yeah it's just uh, it's just an experience that every gamer uh, should experience <laughs> You know, I really wanted to do this, guys, on the review, but I'm just not going to have that amount of time. Uh, I'll be also honest with you guys, I haven't really even even touched the multiplayer. I've just been having so much fun with the campaign and uh, doing just doing it solo. But um, I've played a few online games, just a very few, and I know this is probably one of the best aspects of the game, of Killzone 2, but I just I haven't done that much research on it, so I'm not going to really hark on it that much in this review. But from what I could tell you guys from what I experienced um, this is probably up right above there with Call of Duty for Modern Warfare the addiction level that it has the potential it has I mean you have ranking ups you have little pluses you have little add-ons here and there it's just uh, I think a very well-rounded and very surprising uh, addicting uh, multiplayer so that's all I'm gonna say right now just the reason the reason being I haven't played it I don't want to say anything that uh, that's completely wrong but um I can easily see this uh, as just another great addition to an already great game. So um, not only play the game for the mul uh, for the gameplay and the campaign, but also play for the multiplayer. So with all this being said, what exactly does Voice of Reason think of Gil Killzone 2? Well, I won't lie, guys. It's a great first-person shooter. I mean, it raises the bar in graphics. The gameplay is nothing new or uh, revolutionary, however it is solid and I even think the Killzone 2 logo is war perfected and that's what exactly what they did. They perfected the gameplay in terms of uh, the first person shooter genre. And I mean the controls, I mean I thought they were a little bit sluggish but all you needed to do is configure the sensitivity, I mean it's just minor things like that that keep this game from being perfect, however it is a great game. And anyone who's anyone who loves first-person shooter games, yes, including you, Shaman, I think this is a must-own and must-play for any gamer. And let me conclude my review with this. A lot of y'all have been asking or even thinking, hey, voice, so is Killzone 2 the Halo Killer app that we, the Sony fans, have been waiting for? Now, this is my response. Halo was a great franchise. It was a revolutionary first-person shooter uh, game and there's no debate in that Halo will go down to be one of the greatest first-person shooter games to ever uh, be created now compare this to Killzone 2 I will say this Killzone 2 isn't greater than Halo not by a long shot however I do believe that Killzone 2 does deserve the merit to be associated with that type of elite first-person shooter games Halo is a great game Killzone is a great game in the end, guys, we as gamers, we have a great gaming experience all together. And there's nothing that we should complain about.
I hope you guys got something out of this review. Until next time, guys, take care. Fighting as one hand, one heart, one soul. We will shatter their dreams and halt their nightmares, drenching our ancestors' graves with their blood. <laughs>